Spirits drops 20 when he wants. CZ drops 20 if he wants. Uh, I mean, Surf just puts up LeBron numbers, like, for some reason. I don't know why. So here I am with the one and only Kool-Aid of Gang Gang Gang. Uh, Kool-Aid, how you doing? Uh, not too bad, not too bad. Apart from the water down the windpipe incident, but, you know, we move on. Okay. Yeah. I, I am. I will say, uh, it, it's a bit off track, but I am impressed that the Ubisoft UI can hold all three gangs on your team. Like, yeah. I, I thought that would have hit the character limit, so you would just be like, GGG, and the production wouldn't even try, but... That's what they did, like, uh, in the past calls and whatnot. They just did the triple G, but yeah. we got upgraded, so I'll got take it. Got promoted. I, I, it's probably because you guys came in as, like, one of the top dogs. Like, I know for from the outside, I got the sense that a lot of people who were just watching were kind of meh about you guys coming in. But when I was interviewing everyone who was competing in this, like, you know, Ozo Natural... Uh, not poison, but like you know, the whole the whole host of people. A lot of them had you as like pro the number one or number two, like most deadly teams in the tournament. So you know, yeah. I mean, like it's a lot less exciting to see like five old pros than like you know these new people. So I I I don't disagree with all like the noise around us, but you know, is what it is. Yeah. Uh, I do want to talk a little bit about your run so far, because there's uh, simultaneously a lot and not a lot to talk about here. On one yeah. hand, you guys have been mad dominant and shown some interesting stuff. One thing I did want to ask about was on Cafe, you in particular were using Grim or like considered using Grim on a lot of rounds. Are you a, are you a believer in this operator? Do you believe in the bees? Uh, he's, he's honestly not as bad now, and like you're... Primary util doesn't really matter as much. It depends on what you need. You need to slot that in. Uh, so, like, for our West overtake, yeah. it's just easier to pick Grim because you can clear off, like, C1 without having to use a drone. It's okay. just easier intel and more immediate intel. And, like, it, then if I was playing Habana, I have three flashes, yeah, but that's not going to help me get the info onto, like, the spots that we need as well. So Okay, I see. Yeah, do you, do you think Sense is, like, also in a similar place, or, she's, or are they still just, like, a few a few ladders down in, like, how viable they are? I think Sense is more niche. I think there's a lot of pocket strats you can do with Sense, but, like, apart from, like, um, SSG and, like, the NAL, there's not a lot of teams that are gonna, like, be practicing that day in, day out. That okay. is not as worth it. But... Yeah, I, I have heard that some people say she's a half-decent entry, but I don't... Like, is that something you agree with, or, like, you know... Because she's got, like, all the scopes, you've got Harbreacher, uh, you've got Harbreacher Claymores, and then you can kind of block off whatever line of sight you want, so that you can mm -hmm. isolate, but, you know, do, does that sound like it's a realistic thing, or is that just kind of, like, if it were played optimally, and this were chess and not, you know, Siege? Yeah, I mean, like, I could see it working out, but I'd say she slots more in as, like, a secondary entry if you want to use her in that role, okay. but, uh... Most of the time, if you're going to bring her, it's like on bank for a full clear where yeah. you have the hard breach gadget and Habana's band. Uh, and then you can just clear off the entire red hall with the uh, sense. But, I see. Uh, yeah. All right. So I don't know if there's a lot to talk about the matches that you've played. You played, uh, oh God, who did you play first? Cincinnati Esports yeah, yeah. first. And then you played Slate second. And both of them were honestly really clean wins. Is there anything you want to talk about with those two? Because, uh, oh. Not really. We didn't play our best sieges on that siege on that day either. So I mean, I don't know. It's not a lot to talk about. Honestly, yeah. we just went in, went out. Okay, there should be in theory a lot to talk about on this upcoming match though, because you are facing Ariel Arise. This is like one of those other top dogs in the tournament. I have them slated as like probably my favorites, and it's almost a poetic. Like if you really want to force the narrative, this is like a poetic moment where it's like. The new, the new young guns coming up against the grizzled veterans who've already been in T1 and whatever. Like, if you really want to force it that way, that's you could. But, like, what are your thoughts going into this uh, match? I mean, it'll be a fun game. I think... I don't, I don't really have that much to say about Ariel, because they just seem like a hodgepodge of players really? to me. I mean, like, 
if you're if you're all right if you go six months in the past are you gonna think poison traw uh what else quartz what's on the team uh freaking asian yeah freaking asian art do you think they're gonna be on the same team uh, i wouldn't bet my money on that six months ago but you know uh, do, you, do you think the roles work out now that we're here or is it still kind of like you know they're making it work but they're it, it's not ideal like is there something wrong uh, with the composition or something i'm i'm not sure because it's okay. like there's not a lot of like there's personality on the team but there's not a lot of personality in their play Okay. Like, Creek is an entry, right? But, yeah. like, he's not, like, a fuck it entry. Or, can, wait, can I curse on yeah, this? Yeah, no, 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 don't All worry. Right. I have no yeah. problems with that. <laughs> but he's not, like, a... Like, I'm gonna just go in, like... And then Asian, I played with him. I think he's a good player. He just doesn't reach his potential as much as he can. Uh, which I hope he does, because... Like, I, I don't know. He was a good person in, like, uh, yeah. IRL. But, Dude, uh, dude's nasty, like, when yeah. he's on. It's just, you know, how often, right? Yeah, and then Poison, if he can step in the aim trainer, you know, he might might pull it out, but, you know. Yeah. So it's just, like, they're, they're one of the top dogs, but they're not nearly as, like, uh, terrifying as some people make them out to be? Is that kind of where we're at Yeah, with I mean, there's just not a takeover player, I guess you could say. Okay, like, yeah. I mean, Spirits drops 20 when he wants. CZ drops 20 if he wants. Uh, I mean, Surf just puts up LeBron numbers, <laughs> like, for some reason. I don't know why. And then Xeno just has a DMR, so... Yeah, DMR I, crutch. I mean, yeah, there's enough. Of there's enough of them on both sides of the of the game, so like you can get away with it nowadays. Yeah, yeah. I, I, but, I it does raise a question, at least for me. Like, uh, I I've heard in some other interviews, like when Drip was talking about Surf, uh, when picking him up or when talking about him on Beast Coast, like he doesn't understand how this guy plays, but he's so he's so good. You look at the scoreboard, yeah. and all of a sudden he's up like with twenty kills, and you're just like, how did he get there? How did how did you? Like this yeah. doesn't add up because you look at you look at the eye test of it, you look at the scoreboard, and it just doesn't look the same. Like, it, are you of the same mind? You different? Like, uh, is he just like? I mean, yeah. I don't know how he gets kills, but he gets every single kill that he should get, and then he can also weasel his way into kills. Okay. So I mean, it's a uh, coming from the like SI qual team to like this team. It's like a it's a really big addition to uh, uh like how we function as a team. Yeah. I talking about the SI quals, there hasn't been a, a lot since fam. Like, you know, you guys showed up, did damage at uh in the quals, uh competed for the major quals, if I recall. Yeah. And then there hasn't there's been like no competition in the T two, T three scene. Like, you know, we, we would see Ariel Rise or Card and Co. in like Xenon and Solar Flare and all this stuff. But GGG was kinda just sitting out, but I kinda got the sense that you guys were still scrimming and stuff, practicing on the download, just not competing. Is that true? Am I misrepresenting that? Yeah, we were scrimming. Uh, we were trying to get a full five to get uh, an org for Pro League and have okay. a full setup and then like a deck to present to the pro teams. Ah, uh, I see. Uh, so, but we picked up Eddie and then Eddie went to SSG Academy because I mean, if you're gonna go for like a pers like a prospective like five man into CL or like all your friends on SSG Academy. Yeah. I mean, I I wouldn't turn that deal if I was him either. Yeah. But uh, you know, but then so Eddie left and then we picked up Surf. Surf actually in his tryout scrim with Ariel or like he tried out with us against Ariel. Dude went like one in forty eight through oh, three no. maps. But still picked him up after it. So. <laughs> Uh, you know, <laughs> it worked out. Yeah, I yeah. mean, it, it is a testament also to just the idea that like you know kills aren't everything. Like obviously you want them. It never hurts. It never hurts when yeah, the player can hurts. frag. But you know, there, there's so much more outside of the game than that. Uh, yeah. I did want to ask about the IGL structure of this game. Are you still the IGL of GGG? Uh, it's a. Uh, it's like late round and mid round. I would say is more me. Okay. But uh, early round, I mean, the entries pick their entry points. Granted, we have, like, some preset, like, entry points. But yeah. uh, the early and mid round uh, is more, like, spirits. And then late round, if anybody wants to call, they just call. Right? Okay, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. It's whoever says it first. Uh, we go with that. So it's a lot less, uh, like, friction between, like, a first half IGL and a second half IGL. It's more 
like uh, cohesive. Yeah, so but. just kind of if someone sees something, they call it. Everyone just that's the new plan. We kind of go with it. Yeah. All right. Like cool. uh, on bank, when we dropped uh, down the hatch, like all three people were in archives. It was like a three v three, two people offsite. Yeah. Earth just made that call, so uh, he said, "Hey, fuck it, <laughs> fuck the wall. We're gonna hit site. There's two offsite." We Got ball. The guy in red. I mean. Yeah, fuck it, we ball. <laughs> uh. All right. And that, I guess I, I kind of... That was supposed to be a whole, like, tree of questions, but you know what? Oh, we, okay, we, okay. We, we just We just blazed through that real quick. All right. <laughs> so I guess we'll, we'll start coming down to the end of the interview now, which is, um, you know, our, assuming the Swiss system wasn't a factor, or I guess, like, playoff seeding wasn't a factor, are there any teams in this that you want to play play against in particular or is it just kind of come any come all uh i mean honestly it's mostly come any come all uh i mean after being in pro league uh i mean I, i'm not trying to sound like arrogant no no it, it's, it's it's like, like a well documented phenomenon even in like cs or whatever that like once once you play for majors you know device isn't going all out on the group stage of Cato versus yeah. the grand finals of berlin major finals you know that's just how it is i mean like i'm still gonna put my all into the game and we're all we're all playing to win yeah so like i wouldn't say that but caring more about the storylines between the players it's a lot it's harder to be invested in that when you've been like playing on stage versus canadian and like all these players right yeah i mean going from like canadian to poison it's like kind of a drop off (laughs) no no hate to poison that's my guy but you know yeah He's not there yet. He ain't played for 74 years and some change. Seen every single exactly. hammer. Yeah. The next question, this is this is where we start getting inflammatory, all right? This is this is me trying to start some shit, uh, full right, disclosure. Right. Uh, rank your upcoming opponents, so that can be limited to just aerial, or if you want to go into the future of, like, you know, I'm assuming these opponents will make playoffs or whatever. Rank your upcoming opponents in terms of shitness compared to you. Are we going from most shit to least shit? Or yeah, yeah. So, like, out? number one would be the most shit. And then, no, like, the bottom number would be the least shit team. All right, I'll pull up the Wikipedia. Yeah. All right. All right. So, how many make playoffs? Eight? Ah, uh, yes. Dang, that's quite a bit. It's yeah. too many. I mean, if you want to narrow it down to, like, four <laughs> or whatever, feel free. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I'll keep it to who I think are the top four. All right. I think it's us, Ariel, uh, Dilemma, SSG are the top. All right. I think, carnival. Uh, I wouldn't say. Let me look at the roster of Carnival again. I mean, like, I don't think they're a bad team. I think, I think Twist is not the worst. You know, yeah. But they just don't have like the name recognition, and okay. I think dilemma if they don't keep trolling. Like I, th- I don't think you take Villa or like Carnico to Villa just because that's the only map they play. You know, yeah. Like if they play on any other map, I think uh, dilemma just wins, and I don't. I think Woos is actually pretty good. Yeah, Woos is low key kind of nasty. He yeah. he has been for a while. I've been on that Woos hype train since like stage two last year, so. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I'm always down for yeah. for supporting Woos. Uh, I'd say mm, it's like a flip of the coin between SSG and then uh, Dilemma for me. Okay. I probably like. I don't know. I don't think. So like, the what is it? So SSG Academy is under SSG, right? Yeah. So the call out wants them to play how SSG plays because it's like a farm team, right? Yeah. So, which is great for the main team, but yeah. I think for the academy team to implement that in like what three weeks, like it's a totally different way to play the game compared yeah. to how these people have always played. And like you can say that they're like ranked players, or like they've been ranked players in the past and then came to CL. But I think ranked as opposed to like what Astralis did at SI is different because I think Iconics like a one to one player for that play style. Uh, so like. If the Astralis core or the Astralis team stayed together and then M80 picked up Iconic, I think 
uh, Astralis got so much worse if they stayed together. Like, they had okay. to split up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I think he was such, like, a huge cog in the machine. He was the linchpin. And, like, yeah. with, without him, that entire style kind of breaks down. Yeah. Like, I mean, you're not... I don't know. I've never seen Hot and Cold hop through so many windows than the last time I scrimmed him. Like, that <laughs> was ridiculous. I don't think he's comfortable doing that. Oh, well, now I'm going to ask... All right, what? Yeah. But it's such a different... Like, yeah, it's play a different style. play style. Do you think that's why SSG ACAD looks so, like, rough some of these games? Like, they definitely haven't come out like the powerhouse we would have expected them to be before E1, you know? They struggled yeah. against Outlast, they struggled against Osiris, even on Oregon, which used to be, like, you know, mm. LG, which is the core of that team. Yeah. That used to be their home map. They would just, like, take you there, pub stomp you with default, and they would just outgun you. And it's kind of yeah. like, now they're struggling on that map so like is that why is it because they're kind of being forced to fit this like ssg main mold uh i'd say so okay i think they try to get too fruity every round i think they just if they keep it to the basics and then like implement some of that stuff it'd be great like that yeah. that's a more easy transition but i mean some of these plays that i see them do is just they would have never done that three weeks ago right yeah so i there's no way you can get comfortable with that with how much time you can actually put into the game that's worthwhile uh so you know yeah, yeah I, just it is what it is you know uh and the final question i want to ask before i give the floor to you is just kind of is there which team do you think will put the best fight up against you like obviously it sounds like we, we might be in for it tomorrow but you know uh it depends I have okay. never lost to Ariel as that team, even on my lowest days. But uh, so who knows? I think it might be a little bit more one-sided just because of the play styles. But I'm not going to say they're a bad team. Yeah. I think they're the best of the rest. Okay. I, I can get behind that. Makes it sound like I know what I'm talking about when I say they're <laughs> one of the best. <laughs> All right. So Kool-Aid, I've had you here for quite a while. A little bit more than I said I would. I, I'm going to leave this floor to you. Anything you want to say to the fans, the haters, the supporters, the oh. possibly interested orgs, whoever it is, talk your shit. Oh, uh, I mean, not much to say. I mean, I appreciate all the supporters that come out. Uh, I mean, like, it's so cool to be able to do interviews with people like you as well. Like, I, I just want to thank the community and whatnot. Because uh, I got to live my dream at the highest, and now, you know, it's all because of everybody else. Granted, yeah. I'm not there now, but I just, in retrospect, I really appreciate everybody in the community and what everything they do. Uh, shout out JJ Blast. Feels bad. I feel bad for that man. Yeah. All right. But, so thank you for your time, Kool-Aid. Best of luck in your next match, and hopefully you. we might see you on another one of these. Hopefully, hopefully, man. Thanks so much.